Hello, today I'm going to be doing a rectus journal. This one's in color, so it's a little bit different, but I'm super excited to get into this, so let's get on to the pages that I'm gonna do. The first page I'm gonna be doing is this one. It says, poke holes in the page using a pencil. So, let's get into that. When I first started this, I thought it was going to be really easy, but when I started, it was really hard to get the pencil in there straight and get it perfectly lined up with the markings. So I had a lot of challenge getting it in there perfectly straight, and I still didn't manage to do that. Uh... While I was doing this, I managed to rip it but thankfully I had some tape on me so I could just cover that up. I decided to connect the holes and make some sort of creature out of it. I guess this turned out pretty good. So while I was connecting the dots, I was like, oh, this kind of looks like an octopus. It didn't really. So I went with the octopus idea and colored it in purple. Not sure why I chose this color, but looks kind of good on it. I wasn't really sure how an octopus looked, so I was just kind of doing it off of memory. When I started on the legs, it didn't really look like an octopus anymore. So I went off camera to try to do it with focusing on what I'm doing and that seemed to work. I used a lighter purple on the back side of the tentacles and it looked pretty good. And after that, I used a white to go over and do the little circles on the back side of the tentacles. Next, I was adding the eyes. I wanted these eyes to be kind of big and cute, I guess. I didn't want it to just be black, so I added some highlights in the eyes, and that looked really good. Then after I added eyebrows, it started to look really good. For the mouth, I wanted him to be smiling really big. So I added a big mouth and his teeth and his tongue. The next page I'm gonna be doing is this page. This page says, document the colors of your food. Rub, smear, splatter your food. Use this page as a napkin. So let's get into that. So I went for a pizza because, of course, that's what I was eating, and I really liked the way this turned out. For the crust, I went for a golden brown look because it looked good. And I usually only just eat cheese pizza, so I went for normal cheese pizza in the picture. I added some cheese and added a lot of shading and highlights. Now since my pizza had a little bit of brown in it, I wanted to recreate that in the drawing. So once I added that, it started to look more like a pizza and not just a yellow and brown blob. I added a little bit of red to replicate the sauce. Even though the sauce wasn't showing on the real pizza, it was a nice touch. I wanted to put a plate on there because the pizza wasn't just sitting there and I really liked how that looked and I liked how I recreated the one that was my pizza was sitting on.
I also made a napkin so I could smear my food on it. Whoa, how'd that get there? I added the napkin in there because I wanted to create some texture, but when I added the white colored pencil, it didn't really end up like that. So I was like, whatever, I'm gonna put food on it anyways. So it didn't really matter. That's all I had time for for today, but I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you around next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!